Here's how to make an internal laptop hard drive into an external hard drive. Let's begin. So here I have, this one is called an Inatech A-I-N-A-T-E-C-K-F-E-2004. Now this is USB 3.0. If you see USB 3.1, I saw in a video someone else had a USB 3.1 first gen. That's just USB 3.0. They just want to make it sound fancy. So this is only for 2.5 inch portable, 2.5 inch HDDs, which is just a laptop hard drive. So it is FE2004 super speed 5 gigabit bytes per second but the 5 gigabytes per second you can take any hard drive you want a SSD a regular hard drive anything it's 51 grams without the hard drive in it it is 127 by 80 t times 130 by 13 millimeter it works with Windows XP, Vista, 7 and 8.1, Mac, and OS. And that 8 and 8.1 means it works with 10. Basically, it works with any operating system. So, to be able to get it to work with Mac, it has to be formatted for Mac. To get it to work with Windows, it has to just be NTFS. So, let's open this up. And, there is some cool protective covering. It's almost like any um, unboxing experience nowadays. You pull this out, you get this. This looks sort of like Anchor or Aki. Oh, this more is like Aki because of the boxing. Then you get this. It's a USB 3.0. Pull this out of the box because I'll need this. Oh, put that to the side. Now I have another cable. This is another USB 3.0. This is for if I can. Okay, the wrapped up one I know is the new one. This is for my Seagate Backup Plus drive. These are the same things, so if you really only need one cable at a time or one hard drive at a time you can just carry around one of those or you can carry around both this is to put inside on top so the hard drive doesn't wiggle around put that to the side and we're going to open this up so it's pretty standard opening pretty boring but as you see over here, it says this. This is the only thing on here. There, on this model, is no LED. Unless that is an LED, which I hope it is, because that'd be cool. And then there's this, which plugs into this. There's no on-off, it's just eject from computer, unplug, put it away, and you're fine. It has a rubbery, matte feeling. This thing pops out in the bottom here. This is where you would put that piece of felt. You put it over here. Anywhere over here, mostly in the middle, just because for those OTD people. And then there's the standard hard drive stuff. So let's grab a hard drive. So I have here my hard drive. This is an HDD 2.5 inch millimeter I don't know what it was specified as 2.5 inch or centimeter and got to take off all of the wrapping here whatever pieces are here so unscrew I'm just gonna drop this here Because on these hard drives, since it's an internal one, this has some plastic on 
some part of it here so it won't fit in well. You can take a little better fit when it's standard size. Yeah. Here we go. And There we go, so we're taking it off. Now it's back to its original state. Now you just put it in, push it in, and there you have your enclosure. Which doesn't seem to be moving around at all. So we're just gonna plug it in and see how it works now. So as you see here, this is my laptop. And now we're just gonna plug it in. Hmm. Well, while well, we're at it, I don't even need to keep this like this anymore. Just everything to the side now. Here we go. Yeah, it's harder than I imagined. So I was right. That is an LED that blinks. Now, it would work a little better if that was an SSD, which I wish I had, but I don't. So this over here is my computer here. I go over here to task manager to show me the read and write speed. And I go to disk one, F, G, H, and I. So I'm going to take my flash drive. has a good read and write speed. I'm going to let's just take inside out, copy that to the local disk. Uh, I'm gonna cancel that part of it. Users me videos. Now the write speed shows up as 30 seconds as 30 megabytes per second. Now it isn't as fast as it possibly could be, but there's really not much to it. I'm gonna cancel this because I don't want it on here really. But it could be a little faster with an SSD, but now I have myself a 596 gigabyte hard, well, 640 gigabyte hard drive. So, either you can use this, you either you can now use this thing to either run your run a computer off of this, or load up one ter your old hard drive on it and be able to use it has an external hard drive. So, that was just my little tutorial. Please rate, comment, give us a thumbs up, and have a beautiful rest of your day.